I'm Scott Carpenter, and you're in Campus Social Time with Scotty C. Welcome to another social segment with Scotty C. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know about you guys, but there goes my bracket. But anyway, let's move on to the Sweet 16. Maybe I can get some right picks this time. Amazingly, there were only three perfect Sweet 16s in all of the ESPN entries. So let's go on. Let's pick the Elite Eight and see who books their ticket to Arlington, Texas for the Final Four. In the South region, some surprising picks. We have Florida and UCLA. Both have had a flawless road to the Sweet 16. Florida, the overall number one seed. I think they trump UCLA, and they will move on to the Elite Eight. Dayton then will play Stanford, a matchup that nobody saw coming. Dayton Flyers beating Ohio State to move on, and Stanford beating New Mexico and two-ranked Kansas. And I believe that Stanford will ride this hot streak, knock the Dayton Flyers out of the way, and book their ticket to the Elite Eight, which puts it between Florida and probably a team Florida did not see coming, Stanford, to see who goes to Arlington, Texas for the Final Four out of the South. And I believe the Florida Gators will book their ticket to Arlington, Texas, and will not be challenged by Stanford. It will be a handily win for them. UCLA will be their biggest opponent to date. And now let's move on to the East. In the East, the University of Virginia plays Michigan State, a matchup that a lot of people saw coming. Michigan State tends to be the favorite in this one. Tom Izzo and his Spartans are doing very well this season, and they have good experience going into the tournament. But it is my belief that the University of Virginia is the most underrated number one seed in the tournament, and that is why they will move on. A upset that I picked, UConn moved on to the Sweet 16. They will face... Iowa State, Iowa State, a very streaky team, and those threes, in my opinion, will not fall for them, which is why UConn, as a seven seed, is going to move on to the Elite Eight to take on the University of Virginia. University of Virginia, as I said, one of the more underrated teams. UConn does not get this one. They just barely, their Cinderella story will end, and the University of Virginia will take the spot it belongs, and they will move on to Arlington, Texas, into the final four moving on now to the west we have an arizona san diego state matchup arizona who i said earlier last week has the easiest road to the final four and i believe that continues arizona will move on in a pretty handy win for them baylor and wisconsin baylor has impressed a lot of people after they upset creighton and doug mcdermott had to say goodbye as one of the leading scorers of all time in the ncaa from creighton a good career for him Baylor and Wisconsin is going to be a great matchup. Bo Ryan has the experience. I'm picking an upset here. The Big Ten teams are going to go out, and Baylor will move on to face Arizona. Arizona and Baylor will be a good matchup as well, but I'm going to stick to my guns. I'm going to have three one seeds in there so far. Arizona, as I said, the easiest road to the Final Four, and they will go to Arlington, Texas, and see who they will face. So let's go to the Midwest, the final bracket. Two teams that absolutely hate each other. The University of Kentucky and Louisville. Louisville, coached by Rick Pitino, University of Kentucky, coached by John Calipari, who has had controversy surround him in his career. This is going to be a matchup that you can take the ranks and throw them out the window because it's going to be a rivalry. In my opinion, Louisville will barely squeak this one out. Kentucky with some impressive play against uh, Wichita State. Louisville has pretty much taken this tournament in their own hands and they've had no challenge so far. Moving down, Tennessee and Michigan. Tennessee beating Iowa and then going on to beat Mercer has shown some very good uh, ball movement, good way of getting to the Sweet 16, but in my opinion, Michigan, too solid of a team. Nick Stauskas will hit too many threes and will take down the Volunteers of Tennessee, which leads to a matchup between Michigan and Louisville. Louisville, probably the strongest four seed in the tournament, in my opinion, will knock off the maize and blue, and they will move on to Arlington, Texas, and Rick Pitino will make his second Final Four appearance in two years. And then it will be the Final Four in Arlington, Texas, ladies and gentlemen. That will be your matchup. Next week, we will go out and see if that bracket is again completely busted because anything can happen because of this March Madness. On top of that, we'll get your picks, see what you thought of your bracket to date, 
and who you got going on to win the championship. Until then, Heidelberg, I will see you around campus. Take care.